the formidable robot. This is so insane. It's been two weeks since the events of the first three parts. I looked through every document for the last two hours and I found some damning pieces of management overhaul, art changes and even a composer was added. Here's the story from the documents I've collected. Back in January of 2001, the episode was planned as a dark message about what happens when secrets are revealed. Rumors that 13 Ghosts composer, John Frizzle, was planned to do the soundtrack of the episode but backed down due to the budget of the show and lack of musicians. Most of the crew were against the dark message of secrets and wanted the episode to be changed or scrapped entirely. That's when the 2003 storyboard real incident occurred. It was revealed that on March 20, 2003, four of the ten interns who watched the storyboard reel went missing in over two weeks upon watching it. Nickelodeon burned the storyboards and ordered the crew to change it or the episode would be scrapped. Now that I've caught you guys up, what's in part four? Part four came in the form of an enlisted YouTube video from the, now deleted, YouTube channel, What Have You Done C Star, who achieved 30 subscribers and only had one video. The thumbnail was the empty title card of the original episode. I had to know what was next. I had to know myself, this person, this Owen person is responsible for this ARG and needs to be solved, even if it means watching everything. The fourth part started immediately when Spongebob arrived at Patrick's house with a burglar mask, but the burglar mask looked exactly like the black ski mask Spongebob wears in Krusty Towers. Spongebob came by Patrick's side slowly. He grabbed the box slowly, but just as he grabbed it, this happened and my jaw dropped. Good old secret box. Let's see what's inside. <laughs> Patrick just cracked Spongebob's head using his mouth. How was that even possible? How did Patrick do that? What's going on? I watched in horror as Spongebob's eyes rolled up in his head and slumped, pronounced dead. A few minutes of Patrick snoring before he slowly woke up. Upon Patrick slowly getting up and recognizing Spongebob's dead, dramatic build-up music was playing, almost like a horror movie. At the highest point in the music, Patrick said, It's done. <laughs> A dramatic snap to black was heard. As it cuts to black, Patrick's laughing from the episode was heard before the credits played. I tried clicking off the link, but my computer froze and suddenly crashed hard. I smelled smoke, and then... FIRE! I heard one of my workers scream. Sure enough, my PC was set ablaze. My boss came in with a fire hydrant and put it out. I do say my dear boy. What's been going on? My boss oddly and calmly said. I reported everything from the ARG and showed him the notes. The boss looked at the media shown on my desk. This ARG's gonna be put in lockdown. We can't have the building nor workers be killed off, or worse. Die in the fire. This shouldn't be investigated anymore. The boss warned. I'll be writing this report, and credit you as the sole profounder and reasoning of ARG lockdown. I grabbed a box, put the documents and media present from the ARG, and went to the ARG's lockdown vault where the vault was locked and kept there. To this day, the ARG remains locked for however long it's needed. The report was sent to warn that if anyone tries to recover and look through the secret box ARG that they are to be terminated and banned from the facility immediately, no exceptions. And that's where it's left on. The ARG left in the vaults, 